Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome to Minecraft Creations episode 35. I'm here with Phil. Hello! And Phil, we've got a big one today. Well, we it's have kind of got... big. It's, it's going to be a quick episode, but it's it... going to be exciting. It is quite awesome, because we're quite yeah. high up and I'm kind of scared. Yeah, we are we're on a rooftop. Of... Why are we on a rooftop? Well, you know, I kind of thought we'd start a little bit precariously. Okay. Above the world. <laughs> so here we go. I'm in first person here looking Hello, around. Hello everyone. Yeah. So, so then, yeah. Do you want to explain to people, Phil, how long ago we built this and what it was for? A very, it feels like forever ago. It's probably not as long as I think, though. Uh, you may notice, first of all, we're in default. Yep. This was are. built uh, for something that Mojang asked us to do, which was a build to be shown off at the MOBA, the Mu. The MOMA. MOMA. <laughs> MOMA. It's not, MOBA. It's not a lol. It's, it's, it's a, a lol. League of Legends map. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, no. the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, which yes. I've actually been to, so it's a really nice place, and I was like, yep, definitely yeah. got to do that. They, so. they wanted to have a video rolling there, and uh, it was very similar to the video that we just released on Saturday, which was a little mini time lapse, and it had some slidey stuff of like the landscape before and after. And so, yeah, yeah. We, we built this very quickly. Um, and so, yeah, we thought we'd actually finally get a chance to, to show this off to you guys with the yeah. new series of creations. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of time of exclusivity with that time lapse and stuff with Mojang and everything. So we oh yeah, to we let it run its course it whilst it was at the museum, and then we let a little bit of time go on after. But now we feel it's it's appropriate to to have it out in the open. So yeah, this is it. Yeah. Um, and we're flying around for once. We usually walk around. No, not much of an flying, interior. So. Um, as we said, we, we did build this on a very tight deadline. Uh, I think this took a couple of days, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, obviously, that consisted of building the entire uh, castle here and also the village in the surrounding area. And, of course, we had to use it on the terrain that was already there so we could do the uh, sort of before and after shots. And yeah, stuff, the so. terrain um, is some default 1.7 terrain um, that was kind of still fairly early in production and stuff. And it, I think it maybe have just come out when uh, Junk Boy actually gave us this in... Um, back in February, this terrain, and uh, we were talking yeah. with him and Lydia, and basically it was, you know, build something on this terrain, make it a time-lapse, and also kind of make a nice cinematic for it. And the idea for the cinematic I came up with were the kind of the land is before, and then it shows you kind of what people can build on top of it. But it's mostly default terrain, which is something we hadn't really ever done in a really long time. Yeah, we've normally, like, landscape and make some awesome mountains in the background or epic streams. I still love that we managed to add, like, these in, though, like these water fountain yep. bits even though you can't do this in default in minecraft default. we found a way and got it in <laughs> yep it's and probably then, the only uh, thing that you can't yeah. do though but it looks beautiful it's a really nice castle uh ek and i designed it mostly ek with kind of my input of saying like this is where things should go and this is kind of the idea i built the original shape for it like outlined it and then uh, yeah uh you know ek just went in and kind of went crazy with it he's really good at kind of like coming up with designs quickly when i Need them, and then this little village down here is kind of like yeah. the addition that we kind of came up with, I suppose. This is a lot more detail than what the castle is, um, just obviously because it's nice and small, so we can add those details in without too much hassle. So, if you do go inside, there's you know, little bits like a cooking stove and a furnace. You know, nothing too flashy, but like you know, you got your beds if and you're desk there, upstairs. I'm, I'm gonna go up here. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm just you know, it's fine. Up to but, the uh, watch towers. Look at all those yeah, cows. Got... Some cows grazing. <laughs> oh, it's majestic as the sun sets. Which which cow? Those cows. There's a, there's a bunch of cows. Look, it's not just oh, one they're... cow. There are many a cow. Okay, that's nice. Yep, and uh, and the server's on 1.7 now, so it's pretty exciting for us. Even though everyone else in Minecraft is getting ready for 1.8, we finally made the shift to 1.7 after yes. being on on what we are now for a really long amount of time. I'm not killing the cows. I swear. Are you killing the cows over there? No. I'm having a little walk around and showing people. What cows? Oh, there's some left over. You were hiding around the corner. Wow. You thought you could escape me. This is Minecraft. Here you go. Wow. Well, around the back of this kind of windmill here, we've got a really nice kind of wheat field. Yes. Goes on. Really nice, actually. Yeah, really nice. Again, again, it's one of these things that, you know, we didn't really alter the terrain at all, but we still managed to get some nice, you know, flowing fields. Although and saying that... This river here, this is altered. This is the only addition I allowed people to do. In the first pass, when people started building on here, they changed the like the terrain radically. And I said, nope, I'm deleting everything you've done and resetting the map to the default terrain that Junkboy sent. The only one thing I want to add is this river. Everything else has to be unaltered. Yeah. I really wanted it to be very default and, you know, so... In those and again, even the river sorts, itself, you know, you, you could expect to find something like this in, you know, regular generations. So. Yeah, I didn't want it to be super fancy or anything. You know, I wanted it to There's kind still of... still a cow off. mocking me over there, but I feel like I should leave it for the rest. I may or may not just be sending screenshots of this daily to Jeb as well, saying this should totally be what a village 
like a normal village with testicles, <laughs> and it looks like. Uh, he's probably banned me from his email inbox now. Yeah, you know. Just... Just spam he's... account. That's what he gave you. Just the one that just auto shreds itself, you know. Yeah, but this is kind of like what I what I would like them to look like because you know they're not these standard boxy houses. They've got really cool little like awkward roofs on them, and they've got you know, yeah. interesting designs and smoke pillaring out of them. And there's these overgrown watchtowers. There's a lot to it, and this is the kind of stuff I'd love to see in default Minecraft, like yeah. like building generation as it's referred to. Ooh, I like this building. Hello. Agree. It is very nice. Yeah. But that's the thing, like, I know that we always get, like, a lot of comments of people, like, especially when we have the UN stuff, and people are like, oh, no, oh! Oh, why would you... <laughs> I Because I'm holding fire in my um, hand. A lot of people kind of criticise, like, using default, but, you know, it's, you know, there's using texture packs, and yes, you can get a lot more detail out of blocks, but, you know, when you look at stuff like this, it still looks good. You can still make stuff look nice when building in default. I don't think it's, you know, a bad thing to use at all. Yeah, and I so, hope you guys enjoyed the little time lapse on Saturday. I guess it came out. Yep, yep. So, uh, if only like a few days. Our first ago. time lapse released a very long time. It was only a quick little mini lapse, but uh, we're hoping to, you know, with each creations that we have, to have some sort of cinematic or time lapse to go along with it. So yeah. even if it's not a time lapse itself, you'll get some sort of awesome build going along with it. Yeah, the plan is to release cinematics or time lapses on Saturday, and then a following creations episode the next Tuesday. So that's yes. kind of one of the new things we should have one every fortnight and we'll be working our way towards the bigger ones very very soon yep and here we go this is the other end of the build all the way from the castle at one side to this side at the other end of the town it's not a big build and we understand yeah. that you know a lot of people expect these huge grand cities from us and stuff but sometimes it's nice just to look at something small quaint but also very detailed there's a lot of detail thrown into there for the amount of time we spent building it you know it's yeah it's really really nice and there wasn't a lot of us building it either it was a really small team who actually put this together, so... I'm it was really nice that we can actually finally it. share this with you, because uh, there's a lot of opportunities and times where we build something and then you don't hear from it or see it for absolutely ages, or sometimes it just doesn't come out at all, so it's nice for us to kind of bring something out that has quite literally been sitting on the back burner for the majority of this year, yep. so... I would say there's a good... like I'd say we release, or at least sure, 80 to 90% of the stuff we do, but there's still those things hidden... Kind of yeah. in the back burner that people don't always see. But look at these little pumpkin gardens and everything. I know. It's All really the pumpkins cute. and like melons. It. That's the one thing that, you know, if you can count on a village to have, it's wheat, pumpkins, and melons. Always. Yep. All three. And again, you know, house design's really interesting. Lots of cool stuff around. And I hope you guys really enjoyed just kind of checking this out. And the time lapse on uh, Saturday showed some really cool kind of new transition techniques I tested out for this, where kind of it goes from default terrain into the actual build, so hopefully you guys yes. enjoyed that. Awesome. And uh, here we are, and we're we will, back. And we'll go back to the the lovely fountain. Yep. Which we cannot build near, because if you build near it, it breaks it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I won't go placing blocks like this. Oh nah, I won't. I will set them out on fire, though. Oh! Ah! Aha! I'm <laughs> safe, I'm on, on, a, I'm on a slab. Aha. Oh, no. Okay. Griefing, well. yay! Wow. Well, thank you guys for All watching, right. and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. It was, it was a fun one to build, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the little time lapse as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon for another one of these. Uh, we'll be back with more Mod Ventures and via weekly episodes pretty soon as well. See you all next Bye. time. Bye! Bye! Bye!